Hey guys, Mike Howerton here at Area 51, back with another video, and we are just keeping the recording rolling tonight, and I got the Admiral with me here for this one, and uh, he is he has got some stuff on his mind right now, but before he lets us know what's on his mind, how about y'all go down below the, and uh, go down below the video, hit that subscribe button if you've not done so already, helps our channel grow, and if you want to help the channel and you really want to help us out, the best thing you can do is share this video anywhere you can, share it on discord share it on facebook share it on twitter and anywhere else that you can share the video to get it in front of as many iRacers racers as possible we're trying to help grow uh, the iRacing racing community and by getting the video out there to as many people in the community as we can really helps that goal and it helps us grow uh, here at the channel so go check that out down in the description below or down in the description below for that the subscribe button we'd be greatly appreciated also there's a bell icon icon down there you can hit to get notified anytime that we put up new content here at area 51 alien factory so tracy how's things going this week for you drop your beer grab your gear the admiral's here well i'm gonna tell you mike i'm a little derailed i've been derailed this week i'm an oh, old yeah? dog yeah i'm an old dog i like things a certain way and unfortunately i racing brought out their green new deal and they uh brought that new user interface instead of the old website like i'm used to and quite frankly i'll tell you what i'm struggling to get around it and uh I, I think i need some help mike that's basically what it boils down to is uh that i i really don't know how to manage and get through the racing and all the options that are here and i know you've been using it almost since day one i know you like it um i know you're real proficient at it so i think it's time for me to listen and for you to talk a while and, and walk me through this how do i manage this i racing new ui that they have well <laughs> I have no problem doing that. I'll do it for you and everybody watching. But, Trace, you keep saying this new UI. You realize that thing's been out for a few years, right? Ah, that just goes to tell you how, how advanced I am. <laughs> well, let me share my screen here, and I'll walk you and uh, everybody else through a few things. It's really going to help you. Um, get started out. Now, you're not the only person I've talked to this week that this said this. Uh, another person on our team, Robert Cook, man, he was fit to be tied. He's he he has never he never even really looked at the at the UI hardly at all, and he was fit to be tied whenever they whenever they uh, pulled that stunt on us here, uh, and or at least on him and taking it away. However, you're absolutely right. I have used nothing. Uh, but the UI, uh, the whole time I've been on iRacing, I've been on iRacing, I joined on April 29th of 2020. Uh, so we're coming up on two full years that I've been on iRacing. And back then it was called the beta UI. And now it's just straight up called iRacing UI, but I've been on it the whole time. And uh, in fact, there was at one point where somebody says, you mean you don't use the website? And I went back and tried to use it. Um, and, and it was actually a couple of features when it was still the beta UI. Uh, they've been moving features out of the website over to the UI for, you know, the iRacing UI for a couple of years now with the idea that they're going to get rid of the website eventually, you know, the, the ability to register for races and use the website for, for, for launching iRacing. They've been, that's been their goal for a few years. They've been gradually update after update after update, moving more and more features over to the UI. And so they finally went and did it, Trace. They did it this week. They finally went and, or was it last week? I think it was last week. They finally went and shut off your ability to register for races using the web, you, the website, um, uh, the member's website. And then uh, so many people got upset about it that I think they temporarily turned it back on where you still can register now temporarily. But guys, that's not going to be around forever. So what I want to do in this video is I want to start to show you a few things to be able to navigate this and function in the web UI so you can still register for races and still enjoy yourself as you as we you know as you learn more and more about the web UI and, you, and, and that becomes your primary way to interface with iRacing. Um, you know, eventually we're all, you're all, everybody's going to get proficient at it, but I want to kind of get you headed in the right direction. So you can start weaning yourself off of the website uh, right now before they pull the switch again, because some people are just going to say, Oh, they enabled it on the website again. I'm just going to keep using that. And you know, heck with this UI. Well, if you do that and you don't learn a UI, they're going to flip that switch again here soon. And you're going to be in the same boat. So let's get into it. I got it up here on the screen. I've got the, what they're calling the iRacing UI now. And you're going to start on the home screen here, and it's got things that's very similar to the home screen. You start on the member's website. Um, you can, it's got forms, but that takes you to the new forms, not the old forms. 
um, and and in the paint shop where you can go and paint your cars that you can't do that on the website anymore. That's been in the UI for about a year now. The only place to paint your car was in the UI. Um, and, and Mike, so let me hold the, you up a second. So if I look at this correctly, that's called the dashboard. I've never heard that term before. Is that what this is? Is a dashboard? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's just it's kind of an overview, a summary. A lot of oh, okay. a lot of a lot of software um, has dashboards, kind of gives you a summary of everything. Yes, yeah, so this is on the dashboard. It's where you start okay. uh, when you when it opens up. When you type your password in and then it opens up, this is where you start. Um, and so, and then the other thing is down here in the bottom right hand corner is also where your friends list is, and, and it's in a similar location. Uh, it's in a similar location in the old website. Um, cool thing is it's got icons here that are clickable. So if I, if I see Tracy here, it says test driving. If I, and if, but if he was in a session, I could click on it and it would say join session or watch. And you could, you could go right in. You can also, it puts up spotter links right here directly in this friends list. So you can go directly into the people who you can spot for and, and, and register for their session directly from here as a spotter as well. So this has a lot of cool functionality. It's got a search bar here at the bottom that you can type in somebody name um, so let's just say we want to type in somebody's name and find them um, so let's just type in somebody's name here on the team let's see scott austin is on our team and there it is scott austin scott austin two scott austin three you can click on the name and you can go view their profile um, or you can this says unfriend i'm not going to unfriend scott but if i wasn't his friend already we it, you can do a friend request from here and if you don't want to send, send a friend request but you want to see when that person's online and not um, you can just go and follow them and then so you're not friends but but you can see their online activity if they're if they have that where they where it shows their online activity and then if somebody's really really annoying you you can go ahead and block them there so that's kind of the functionality here on the friends section you can also favorite guys by hitting the star out there by their name and that puts them at the very top of your friends list so uh when you come in they're the people that are listed at the top so you don't have to scroll the way down through to find them um, so that's the friends list section there oh also if you do want to hide your activity if you click this gear icon right here on the top right hand corner of the friends section um, you can hide your online status so people can't see, you know, when you're online or what, what you're doing, unless you're in a race. And then it does show you registered for the race. Um, so that's kind of this, that, this kind of the, that's the friends pop up down here on the bottom, right? Uh, that kind of covers that. The next thing I want to do is talk to you guys about how to register for a race. Just, just how do I get into a race? How do I go register? How do I find the series that I like? It's a section on the left-hand column that says Go Racing. Okay, so we're going to click on Go Racing. And then it has Up Next, Current Series, Hosted Races, and Time Attack uh, Competitions. Uh, we're, some people Sometimes it starts on Next Up, and that just shows you what's next, and it has a big list here as far as time goes. Um, but, but what I like to do is, is go to Current Series. It's the most... Um, it's the most customizable to what you want. So we're going to go to so go racing and then we're going to go to current series here on the left. Once you do that, um, you can view it two ways. I like the default to, to this, the big squared icons view, but you can also over here on the right hand side, you can switch between that and a list view. Um, I, I find the list view harder to find stuff because it makes the icons and stuff smaller. So I'm going to click the big square view. And I think some of you it may default to that, but if it doesn't, here's where you change that up here on the top right in this area there where my mouse is at. And so this is all the stuff that's coming up and it lists it in time of registration. Like, like, you know, uh, it's almost 1 a.m. So, so it's got eight minutes and seven seconds. It's counting down here to 1 a.m. So the series is that are about ready to run show at the top. And somebody who let's say somebody who said you know just likes to run NASCAR, or they just like running open wheeled stuff on the roadside, you know, or whatever it is you like, or you just like running rally cross. You know, if there's only one particular or two or three series you like to run and that's it, you'll be like, man, I don't want this cluttered mess. I don't want to have to scroll all the way through this to try to find. Um, what what I like to run. I don't run anything else but these two or three things. So why do I want all this other stuff showing up in my list? Well, there's some few things we can do to narrow this down. And that's why I like to go to the current series section under Go Racing. So Go Racing, current series, where we're at. So if you go over here, um, it gives you the sort order. Registration expires. That's where it sorts. You can sort it in different ways. So you can sort it by series name. So if you don't want to sort it by by you know, the, the time that registration is closest to expiring for, you can sort it by series name and it, it aligns it alphabet. It, then it uh, sorts it alphabetically 
Um, it sorts it alphabetically by the name of the series. That's one way of doing it. And you can probably find things easier that way. But I want to go back to registration expires. That's my favorite way to sort it. And I would recommend you guys do it too. That way, the thing that the race is getting ready to kick off soonest shows up first. That way you don't miss a registration. But here is where we can really start to narrow this down. Right here's the filter. It kind of looks like an hourglass, but it's, 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 it's a filter icon right there. It says all series. And that's the second one over there from the uh, second one over. It says all series. I want to click that. And see, now there's a bunch of different things you can sort by. You can show only ranked races. So if you don't want like the Delara Dash and like the Pickup Cup and all the unranked stuff, if you don't want it to show up, then if you just hit ranked, all that stuff will disappear. And then all will show, you won't see the Delara Dash in here. You won't see the Pickup Cup races in here or the Carburetor Cup. None of that's going to show up because only ranked stuff shows up now. And then there's, you can narrow this down even more. Let's say, Tracy, you're a NASCAR fan. Okay, let's say all you, all you want to race. You don't, want to, you don't want to race anything in iRacing other than NASCAR. Well, then you just click NASCAR as the filter, and voila, there you go. Everything else is gone except NASCAR. We got Road to Pro stuff down here. We got the Truck Series, which is a C open, A open, A fixed. The NASCAR Tour Modifieds, um, the, uh, the B open, the Carburetor Cup, which is the older, the older Cup cars. Uh, you got your Arca Menards uh, D-Class Racing. You got your Pickup Cup, which is the old trucks that they race here is unranked. You got your NASCAR Legends, which is B-Class B now. You got your C fixed, your B fixed, and then your tour, uh, tour modified NASCAR tour mod fixed races. And that's it. Nothing else is here. It makes it easy to find stuff. If you say, this is all I want to race is NASCAR, easy to find. All right. So, so the, and you can do that. You can do it by oval. You can do it by license type right here's only oval stuff will show up only road stuff, only dirt oval, only dirt road. So you can narrow it down if you want easily just by the light, by what license type you want to run. But let's say, Let's say, you know what, I only run two, I only run three series. I only run A open, or I only run A, A, B, and C, open and fixed. So what you can do is we already got NASCAR up. If you want to narrow this down even more, um, all you have to do is click on each one. So here's B fixed, I believe. Yep. And um, there is a star. Now I'm trying, I never do this because I race all kinds of stuff. But there is a star here. On, oh, there it is. You don't, you don't have to open it up. It's right here. See where it says NASCAR B fixed? On that same line, there's a star right there. By You can click that star. C fixed. You click that star. And we don't like the, let's say we don't like the Legends cars. We don't like ARCA. Here we go. B open. We want that. We want uh, A fixed. We want A open. And we want C open. And let's say we're going to run Road to Pro as well. There's nothing in, so let's do um, Road to Pro NASCAR Qual, or here we go, Road to Pro iRacing Series. That's uh, okay, NIS. Oh, let's say we like, well, let's say we're not doing Road to Pro. We're doing, we're doing NIS, open and fixed. All right, there we go. So those are all starred now. So what you can do is, is right here is that star. It says only show me my favorites. The star is favoriting it. So you click here and you only show me my favorites. There you go. Now, now there's nothing else on here. So that's an easy way to, to be able to navigate your list. And if all you race is A open, B open, C open, A fix, B fix, C fixed, and the in the uh, the NIS series. Um, so that's all the, the upper car, big car, NASCAR stuff. Then there you go. And you can do that on the road side with anything. You can go and favorite whatever your favorite series are. And if you like, if you're like me, if you like to do NASCAR stuff and you do like, you know, the MX5s and the and the F3 cars or whatever, you can go favorite them as well. And only your favorite stuff then would show up here if you click that star button. And uh, we showed Robert Cook on our team this, the guy who couldn't stand the UI and didn't want to, only wanted to do the website. And he's gone back to the website now that they've allowed you to use it again. But we showed him this and he was like, that's cool. I can find my stuff a lot easier. So I hope that helps you. The last thing I want to show you in this quick video is how to actually register for the races. You click there on, on the icon on the picture and the re race registration window will pop up. This shows you the available sessions. And here's the upcoming races. There's only one race that the registration is open for, and it closes in two minutes. You just click the register button, but I'm not going to click on the race because I don't want to race that race. 
Um, and then here's practices. It gives you a practice number here, like 486, and it's the United States server three, uh, 436. That way, if you and a friend want to register for the same practice, you can tell them what number and you just give them that three-digit number, and they can go register for the same practice that way. So you simply click register. You pick which car you're going to register for. I'll register for the Mustang. Hit continue, and now I'm registered for that practice. And then we're going to hit the join button and it's going to ask us how we want to, what display type we want. We're going to have monitor, Oculus or open VR. So monitors, obviously your monitors, if you have triples or an ultra eye, whatever monitor you, you have, monitors, what you select for that. If you have an Oculus headset that uses the Oculus protocol for the Oculus headsets and then open VR is everything else. Um, open VR is what Steam VR uses and all the other headsets go through Steam VR. Um, and, and that's what you'll select for all the other headsets. So, and then you just hit launch SIM and it'll load up and then, and then you'll be good to go. You'll be in the race. So I'm going to go withdraw from that. Um, a couple of the things I want to show you really quickly. Um, is I'm going to click here again. If you go to entries, that shows you who is in the race, who's in practice, who's in a race. And so if you wanted to you know, enter a practice session, let's say Tracy was out there practice and running laps. He's Mike, come enter my practice session. I'm like, I'm like, Tracy, what's, what's your uh, practice ID? Like that three digit number that I was telling you. He's, I don't know. Well, you can go to entries and you can search through and find Tracy's name and you can either spot for the person. Here's a spotter that's open. You click on the green spotter button. He registers a spotter um, or you go find Tracy and you say, okay, I, I found Tracy's name. Let's just say it's uh, it's this Jonathan Baker. Say it's Tracy. Um, all you got to do, he's in the race. So I can't register for the same thing, but this Jonathan Padel, um, he's in a practice session right now. So if I want to go get in his practice, I just simply hit register right there. And that puts me in the exact same practice that he's in. So that's how you can get in a practice session, uh, with any of your teammates, or your friends, uh, that is, is look them up that way is go into whatever they're, they're practicing and go to entries and you can find them that way and register. Um, so yeah, you know, there's a lot more to go over here in the UI. I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Um, there's a lot more trace to go over in the UI, but I'm hoping that's going to get people where they can at least get in, navigate around, find the series that, that they race for very easily, and then also um, you know, get them registered for races, get them in the races, and also allow them to find where their friends are at and, uh, and to be able to go in and register for practice sessions with their friends. So we'll cover more in another video, but I think, I think for right now, that's going to get people started. So does that make you feel a little, little more confident about using the web UI, Trace? Absolutely. I, well, part I liked was where you showed me how, where I could just make all NASCAR so I could get into all those series and not have, because that, that would be me. I'd be weeding through every single one of them looking for what I'd want. So yeah, that made it really easy. I like that. That's kind of neat now that you explained it. Cause you know, I, I go in there, it's just like when everybody looks in the garage when I'm working, you know, there's all these numbers and you can't process them because you don't know what they do. Well, that's how the new UI is for me. Is as I look at all these examples, it's like, well, what does this button do? What does this button do? And you've really just simplified it for me. So so yeah, I appreciate that. And you know, my my friends list is nowhere near as long as yours. That's for sure. That's the <laughs> other thing I noticed. <laughs> so yeah. I appreciate it. I, I'm definitely looking forward to some more of this, uh, you know, when you get into really get into depth, but uh, for just getting me started. No, that's absolutely going to work. Thanks. Yep. And I, you know, I know, I know the, the UI like in and out, I, I probably know every single feature in it. Cause I've, I've done nothing but use it ever since the day I started. In fact, I went back one time and tried to look at that website you guys were using. And I thought, this is, this is horrible. It's archaic, like, isn't it? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> how in the world do you guys use this thing? And everybody's like, Oh man, the website's great. And I'm like, what world do you live in? <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I hope I help some of you out that are still, we're still using the website. iRacing is going to force you to change. So I'm just hoping this video and what we just showed you helps to take the, you know, helps take, to, to help you ease into that. And we're not, they're not just ripping the bandaid off that it helps you ease into it. And it's a little less painful for you in the transition. So, Hey guys, that's all we have for you in this video. Appreciate you sticking with us to the very end. If you have not done so yet, please you know, hit that subscribe button. Tracy and I appreciate it very much. It uh, helps the channel grow here. Also, uh, there's a bell icon down there. You can hit, you'll get notified every time we upload new content here to the Area 51 Alien Factory. Uh, also, if you really like this video in particular, you can smack that thumbs up 
button down below. Let us know how much you like the video. And if you really, really want to help the channel out, the absolute best thing you can do for us is to share this video uh, wherever you can to get it in front of as many people as possible. We're just trying to help the community out and get guys you know, in the right track, whether it's, whether it's using this new UI, whether it's driver development, like Tracy's done in some of our videos we've recorded tonight, uh, or, if, or if it's helping with uh, learning how to build setups, we're just trying to help the community and make, the, make everybody as fast as they possibly can be and race as clean as possible as well. Fast and clean is what we're trying to do here. So anyway, that's all we got for this video. Appreciate you sticking with us. For myself, Mike Howerton, as Tracy calls me Mr. Excitement, and for the Admiral himself, Tracy Rumschlag, we appreciate you being here in this video and always as always we will see you in the next one